I'm with Dr. Joe Kendricks from the Asheville Animal Hospital. Dr. Joe is affectionately known as Papa Joe. Papa Joe, tell us about your business. I started this clinic in 1979, my wife and I, okay? And I had been working as a veterinarian with another veterinarian who works on, who lived, uh, works on Asheville, on uh, Magnolia Avenue, Dr. Crawford. So after about five years of working with him, you know, it's a bad thing when you got two cooks in the same kitchen. So this particular cook wanted to fly his own wings and use his own recipe. And so it's one of those kind of things whereby you can never say you have arrived. You're, you're either growing your business or you're going downhill. How did you become interested in becoming a veterinarian? Because you, you hear a lot of you know, young people that are like, hey, yeah. you know, I want to do this. But then they realize that you're a doctor and you have to deal sometimes with surgery and blood and all that sort of thing. My degree is in biology and minor in chemistry from Knoxville College. When I got out of college, I went to work at Oak Ridge National Laboratories. Okay? I was working out there as a biochemical technician. My job was to train all of the postdoctoral students who came in. They were smart. They fit Harvard, Yale, all these fancy schools. So one day we were doing this particular experiment and he kept saying, huh, huh? I said, this rascal is no smarter than Papa Joe. So that was my epiphany moment. A light went off in my head that I can do something better than being Sergeant Joe here training the next bunch. And that's what I applied to Tuskegee. Veterinarians, dentists, doctors, many cases are not only a professional, they're also small business people, they're also entrepreneurs, which I can tell that you have a love for. That's all hard stuff. What additional challenges have you faced as an African-American veterinarian small business owner? The best thing I ever got from my mother and father was not to worry about being an African-American. I never grew up thinking that I was less than anybody else. My daddy wouldn't allow it, okay? He used to tell me, he said, boy, when you go out and work for yourself, people ain't gonna care how tall you are, how short you are, what color you are. If you work hard and do the right thing, you're gonna be all right. What I've learned to do out of every dilemma that looks like a bad thing, I smile. You wanna know why? Because I believe that the good Lord is in charge of it all. And when you're covered by the blood, the way my family, I know we are, I just smile because I know if we keep working, things are gonna work out. One of my favorite economists, Milton Friedman, who won a Nobel Prize in economics, once said that the market is the greatest way for people who don't like each other to get along because the market doesn't care what color you are. It doesn't care about any of that stuff. It only cares if you provide a good or service that other people want. And I, I think you're the living embodiment of that. I'll tell everybody sometimes when they come in here and they say, Dr. Joe, you pay so much attention to the clients all the time. What about the dog? This is my, so I've been a veterinarian for about 45 years. And I've been in this location 42 years. And all of that time, guess what? I have never had a dog or a cat to reach in his wallet to pay. <laughs> People pay. <clears throat> so your first obligation is, how can I make sure I understand the role this pet plays in that person's life? Papa Joe, thanks for your time. You're obviously a great veterinarian, a wonderful entrepreneur, and you're a real asset to our communities. I've, I've really enjoyed this. Thank you so much. You're very much welcome.